took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Howdy viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This one, um, you have a choice. You can help uh, Jose and Sean at the Braithwaite Mansion or a couple other guys at the Grays Mansion. Doesn't matter, I chose the Braithwaite Mansion. And this mission you're going to do is, well, it's kind of a destructive mission. And Sean helps you out. It's called The Fine Joys of Tobacco. And let's get on with this mission. Howdy! Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> so, you gotta drive, or Sean will drive the wagon loaded up with, uh... What is it? The moonshine that they're going to use to douse the tobacco and set it on fire. Yeah, okay. I'm going to fast forward through until the uh, important part of the mission. Most of it is just talking. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. So, Mr. Morgan has to hide in the back of the wagon while Sean does his best to get the pair through the guards. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. 
I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there. Okay, they said. okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right there. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real Fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that. Yes, play. Reasonable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah hold up, I'm able to get that. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar born at down manor houses. Oh, burn quietly. Okay, all you gotta do is follow Sean around to a certain point, and then eventually you will get to uh, torch the tobacco. And it, it's a matter of keeping silent, and here comes something else. The wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. If you stick to the tobacco fields and use them as cover while pouring the moonshine, you'll see that the yellow clouds will disappear once you've doused the fields with enough moonshine. And again, just stick to the tobacco fields and be very careful, and the guards will never notice you.
That's good. That's good for here. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, I had to do a quick edit because by accident I shot one of the guards and that caused the mission to fail. Don't shoot one of the guards. If you have to, come up behind them and use a knife. And this is where the controls get a bit wonky, even though I'm trying to hit the left button. The Red Dead Redemption controls are so convoluted at times, it makes it difficult to actually get something done. Would you look at that? <laughs> hey, well, let's go lure yourselves a fat cigar. You pay for it. With the fields alight, you're going to have to start fighting some of the guards and get your way to the payroll wagon. And you're better off running toward the red areas. And yeah, I ran away. I'm trying to set the fields on fire. But it really doesn't matter. Again, just get a gun and go help Sean and fight the guards.
Now you will have some reprieve from the guards and you can go to the payroll wagon, get the payroll and get away from the plantation with some extra money. Now you follow Sean, it's just a crazy ride to get away and get out onto the open prairie or whatever the heck it is. You're going to have to shoot a few guards, etc., but it's not that bad. Just follow Sean's lead and you will get out safely. Tonight? Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Here we are. Home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Will do. Hey. Got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. $212. Awesome. And you know what you can do? The horse you just stole, you can sell it off and make a little money if you take it to the stable, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to find the nearest stable location and drop the horse off. Yeah, it, it's either St. Dennis or the stable that is out in the middle of nowhere. I think I'll go for the stable out in the middle of nowhere and bring the horse there to make a little extra money. If you found this video helpful and you like it, hit the thumbs up icon. If you like these types of videos, I post four videos a week involving video games, and you can hit the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified and never miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.